647 right now. Let's get a check of that forecast with Storm Tracker meteorologist Carson Meredith. Uh, if, it's a quiet morning right now. Yeah, things will change. Things are going to change. How, what are we looking at and what's the timeline? Well, to be clear, we're not looking mm -hmm. at a significant severe weather outbreak, but later tonight after midnight, we could have a few stronger storms that, if nothing else, wake you up overnight. This morning on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, just a couple of very, very light showers in Jackson and DeKalb County, and we'll keep the chance throughout the day today for some additional showers developing, although I will say a lot of us stay dry until those storms roll in after midnight tonight. On the Way 31 Skycam Network, it is an overcast start to the day. We were treated to a spectacular day yesterday. Today's going to be just as warm, just not a whole lot of sunshine. We're waking up in the upper 50s this morning compared to this time 24 hours ago. Oh yeah, about 15 to 20 degrees warmer. Still maybe want to consider grabbing a light jacket heading out the door, but you see on your day planner those temperatures climb quickly despite all those clouds. 65 degrees at noon, your forecast high is 70 and as we mentioned we'll keep that small chance for at least a few light showers this afternoon and for any Wednesday evening plans you might have. The main concern will be after midnight tonight and again this is not going to be a significant outbreak by any means but as that line of storms rolls through our main concerns will be heavy rain that doesn't necessarily cause flooding but could cause ponding on the roads by the time you head out the door on Thursday morning. Within that line of storms especially in the shoals we could have some gusty winds upwards of 50, maybe 60 miles per hour. And the tornado threat, it's not zero, but it is extremely low. Main focus tonight is heavy rain and gusty straight line winds. Let's walk you your future radar. This is 11 o'clock this morning. You see it's mostly cloudy. Can't rot a stray shower here and there. Not a washout today by any means. Here we go by midnight tonight with that single line of storms right along the cold front that's going to be starting to move into the shoals. Now I will say there is not a lot of fuel in our atmosphere overnight tonight, which is good. That means this line of storms will weaken as it pushes eastward of I-65 overnight tonight. Could still have heavy rain for sure, and we could also still have some damaging wind gusts within the line of storms. By the time we get to 5 or 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, all we're left with is some lingering showers, and Thursday afternoon is actually shaping up to be a very nice afternoon with quick clearing skies and the rain, of course, coming to an end. We're still talking about highs in the 60s tomorrow, despite that cold front moving through. Now, even outside of wind gusts with thunderstorms, the wind is still going to be howling overnight tonight. We mentioned a few minutes ago wind advisory from 9 o'clock tonight until 9 a.m. Thursday. That's for wind gusts, again, totally outside of storms, getting as high as 35, maybe 40 miles per hour. That's enough to knock around some loose furniture on your patio and maybe send the trash can flying down the street. So bring that stuff inside or anchor it down before you go to bed tonight. Quick look at the weekend forecast, a mixed bag again. Saturday will be chilly and cloudy with highs in the 40s and maybe a couple of showers too. Sunday will be the pick as the sun makes a full comeback and those highs are more typical back in the mid 50s. You see on the seven day forecast looking ahead to early next week, the highs are back in the 60s. Any Valentine's Day plans next Tuesday, you're going to need the umbrella. Another system brings rain by early next week. Carson, thank you so much.